Today we are going to show you how to make a dip dye watermelon t-shirt. Okay, Alyssa, I think you're a little bit overdressed for this project. Really? Yeah. Uh -oh. I think you better change. Okay, one second. I'm back! Alright, okay. And I'm ready. Okay, that's better. I think that's better. Yeah. I may be a little overdressed, but we'll work with this. So we have, I only have three colors here. I have red, yellow, blue, because that can make basically any color. Yes. Or, right? Learn that in Sesame Street. There you go. <laughs> so for your watermelon tea, we need a sort of pinky red and a green. These are in powdered form. So before we open the cans, let's put on our mask. Kids are going to love this, because your mask is really funny. Okay, so yellow. Yellow. Blue. Blue. So red will dilute to pink. Okay. Dark blue will dye up to light blue, sort of thing. Here's the shirt we're gonna dye. Okay. If you just plain white shirt. Plain white shirt. Um, I really like using old t-shirts because they get grungy after a while. You can re-dye them, give them a new life. Okay, okay, got it. If we just dunk this now, which is so tempting to do, it could come out on the wash. So we've got to um, make it color fast. Your okay. dye kit will come with a fixative, or if you're using little pots like I am. Uh, a common fixative is called soda ash. That will actually impregnate. Is that a thing? Yeah. The dye right into <laughs> the shirt. Cool with that. And then when you <laughs> wash it, wash it, wash it, the dye will stay. So let's get it wet. So Water. in order to get this little white line, like we see here, we're going to protect the middle. Let's use some tape. And like any type of tape? Like that's. I like painter's tape. Usually okay. everyone has this around. It's easy to get around. So if your tape starts to come off, put an elastic over top. Put this on? Put this on top of the green tape. And like, does it have to be super tight or no, is it okay? No, you just want to like hold it. So your dye will actually probably bleed through the tape a little, but okay. this is, will protect it from like obvious splashes and stuff, especially if you're working with kids. So we're going to dye our shirt in the buckets. Let's contain all the mess. I have the bucket of green, bucket of red, and I have this little bucket okay. so we can rest the white part over top the t-shirt and then it doesn't sit in wet dye. Smart, smart, smart. Now we want to test our color, just make sure we've mixed our color. I'm just using a piece of paper towel. You can see, oh that looks green, right? Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. If it Got looked it. too blue, you could add some yellow the other way around. Oh, okay, good one, good to know. Here's our red. Oh, that's, look good. that's awesome, that's so pink. Yeah, I love it already. You're going to dip one end in green and one end in red. Okay. So our bucket's close. Like at the same time, I'm yeah. very nervous. I feel like I could really screw this up and just let them sort of yeah. Fall so in. now is sort of the fun part. You could use your spoon. You could. This has got a bit of green on it. That's okay. You can dunk oh, it. Like you can really use your hand. Yeah. Ah, okay. I see. And you'll start to see the dye will climb. Up. Oh, it's like a rash. So. Once you get it the color or the level that you like, I'm going to let you do it. You're going to just lift it off and place it over the third bucket. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Yeah. You ready? I, I don't actually know, but okay, we should. <laughs> you can do it. There. Okay. Now we just let it sit. Let it sit overnight. And, and so I the, don't touch, like I don't rinse it out or like squeeze out anything. Don't rinse it out. Don't do anything. Just let it sit. Okay. Um, okay. You, if you want to keep it sort of wet, we'll help the dyes. Uh, keep soaking in. You oh. can just put a lid over your bucket or you can cover it in plastic. Next step is... Keep this wait, overnight, right? Okay, dry. And then you just you'd rinse it out until the water runs clear, wash it. Okay. So wash we're going to stay here all night. We're going to stay all night, so I hope you get yeah, comfortable. Guys. This is how your t-shirt comes out after you wash it. These two here, I did not use the fixative. Oh, so that's why it's a lighter See color. how it's lighter? Oh, okay. So when you washed it, it faded. It faded. Which is still cute. It's so still if you cute. Fail, the, yeah. On the or if you're just too excited, your kids are excited, don't worry about it. But if you want a really color blast bright shirt, follow all the steps in your kit. Now we want to do the really cute watermelon seeds. Yes. Okay. I'm going to draw a seed on it, and it's really as easy as it looks. You just draw the seed. Draw seed. Okay. Te teardrop shape. Yes. Your turn. Okay. Let's draw a seat. Sorry. Yeah. I know. Good luck. Let me just. just, just I know. <laughs> How are you feeling in that suit? I, it's like it's very steamy. Um, um, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Yeah. Mine is not as good as Mandy's, but it's I did perfect. it, guys. Perfect. 
And I think, I think that's it. Watermelon shirt. Did you like this video? Want to see more videos of Mandy and I in hot and steamy outfits? Then subscribe to the Today's Parent YouTube channel.